welcome back to my channel Pom Pom Sisters. I am Shantae and in this video I'm about to install some more crochet braids because it is my birthday month the month of May and birthday month just screams braids like I don't know what it is I have to have braids for my birthday month and I decided to install some 30 inch long goddess braids because <laughs> why not but I do love my journey so far do y'all see y'all see these inches she has been doing really good like this is her last year compared to now homegirl is like she is slaying now there has been some ups and downs during this journey some very much roller coaster emotions some days i hate it some days i love it i can't make up my mind nor can she but i'm glad that we've made it this far before we go any further let me remind you to hit that subscribe button right down below and come join our family here on youtube we would greatly and very much appreciate having you here and to all of my returning subscribers hey mama hey bestie hey friend i hope you have been blessed and safe as always i just ran we just ran up on our fourth anniversary on youtube here so it's been four years of me posting here on youtube and that i'm grateful for a lot of people don't make it to seeing youtube that long and i'm i'm happy for it i have been really wanting a blonde afro this summer so i'm trying to talk myself out of it but i'm wondering do y'all think i should should i try it should, let me know in the comments do you think you can see me with a blonde should i do the blonde afro for the summertime. So I want to talk about what I used to blow out my hair real quick before we go any further. So I went in with the Flawless by Gabrielle Union, the smoothing blow dry cream. It's it's really nice. I do like it. Definitely helps with smoothing out the hair. And then I seal everything up using the Pretty Strands hair oil. Now I have been using Pretty Strands products for like two three years now and the hair oil has always been my fave out of all of the products for my my protective style i am going in with these crochet braids that i had purchased from my local beauty supply store i'm gonna try to find some similar ones on amazon this is a boho hippie braids and it's in 30 inches because okay right, right if i could have found 31 just for the birthday month you know i damn sure would have would have so we went 30 inches for our 31st <laughs> hey it has the dark roots and then it kind of sprinkles in some copper right now i usually crochet my center and then i do my edges with individuals the crochet method is always the easiest it's easy to install easy to take out and it don't take me half my damn day to do it i have this little piece of right here that i'm going to be leaving out and then i'm going to leave out my edges here as well as the back and then i'm gonna braid the center now, everybody's been asking me what are my plans for my birthday i don't have none not none at all. Last year when I turned the, the, the big 3-0, the dirty, 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 30. I had went out with some my, my my friend, my girlfriend and my sister. We had drinks. I got drunk as hell, showed my ass. They were absolutely and thoroughly entertained because of it. And it was nice. It was really nice. I got so drunk, I, I threw up as soon as I got home. I've, I've just reached a, a, a place of peace. And I want to keep that. I just want to keep that. That's that's it. Because it's so hard to get there that once you, once you are there, you don't want nothing to disturb you. I mean, absolutely nothing. This is all my leave out right here. The parts are not clean. And I promise you, it ain't going to matter once we <laughs> It ain't gonna matter. It ain't gonna damn matter. My rule of thumb is to do my cornrows as thick as the braid itself. But the ratio is thrown off. Something about it just don't, it don't look right. It don't, it, it, it won't look as, at, at its best. All right, here's my first braid done. And I left it just a little bit unbraided because I'm gonna do my second one. And I'm gonna pull this braid up into the second one so it can all be connected. I swear, me and my hair, we have our seasons where I am just like so in love with her. And then the next one, I'm just like, uh-uh, I'm cutting you the hell off. Like we we just both mood swings. Like she don't like me, I don't like her. And then we come together and be like, girl, I love you. And I'll be like, yeah, I love you too. You ain't going nowhere. And that's probably why I don't go to a whole lot of stylists because I'm still tender headed. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I am still very much tender headed. Sometimes I'll be doing stuff that be pissing me off too because I be pulling my hair too damn tight. I'm gonna fight with anybody when it comes to my hair. It might as well be my damn self. I don't need to add nobody else to that list. And as you can see, I connected braid one right there into braid number two. And we're gonna do the same thing, so forth and, and, and so on. I'll be back with the rest of it done, all right? Here is the entire foundation here. Everything is braided back, all connected. And now I have this one braid left that I'm gonna 
crochet through here. Just going in with that pretty strands oil. Purchase six packs. I'm I'm expecting to use five, but I always buy an extra one just in case. It comes with 16 braids in the pack. And here are the beautiful little goddess curls. I'm gonna come back every pack I finish so y'all can kind of see the stages of each pack. five packs we are done that is it it looks very much full for me i like the fullness of it it looks good it looks really good now we just have to do this right here i started braiding i'm done with the sides the back as well as the side um now i'm working on the front and then my middle part is up here yeah it looks it looks good as you see my yeah my edges are they're very thin. That's why I like to do the knotted method rather than the knotless method. Yes, it adds a little bit more tension to what is already frail, but I just really like having a fuller look. And so I'm willing to just take that sacrifice. So this is about as much as I'm using. And I like to split it, not in half, so about a third of what is in my hand. I like to split that apart. And then what I do is I wrap the smaller piece around the bigger piece just like that and so I have them looped together. I like to take the smaller piece in between my thumb and index and then I bring it around just like that. So in between my thumb and index and then bring it around to where I'm holding like that. So now I have my three strands one two and three and now I'm going to add it to my hair. Split it in half right here. Take my hair right there. I pick up one piece and then pick up the second piece and it's still All right, here's my next section. Gotta divide it in two again. Got my hair ready. And rip one section first. Rotate. Pick up my second section. And grip it all together to form my braid. And there it is. Now I'm just going to wrap up my ends so we can make them nice and curly. I got me some perm rods here. I got the water boiling in my kitchen. Oh, I think I did them right for the most part. They're still pretty wet though. Right? Yeah, look at that. Look at the little cute spiral. We are good to go. So I'm gonna let these dry. I'm gonna come back, face B, everything will be done. Get a finished look at all of this. I'm excited. <laughs> all right, y'all. So my face is now done and I just wanted to come on here and show y'all the finished product. So I have it like pulled back just a little bit just to keep it out of my face, but I'm not doing nothing extreme right now because it is still very much tender. We really love the curls and I'm hoping that they hold up. But here we are. So, of course, the really red pieces are my uh, individual braid pieces. And then everything else that's a little toned down is 
the crochet braids, but it blended really, really good. Like I really love the end result. This is definitely one of my go-to styles when it comes to protective styles. I love crochet braids. Like crochet hairstyles in general, they will forever be top tier for me. They're so easy. Anybody can accomplish them. And it takes like half the time of doing whatever traditional style that you're trying to crochet with, you know? And I love that crochet hair has just come and evolved so much. And I just want to see it evolve even more. I definitely have videos on all kind of crochet styles if you are willing to check those out. But thank you guys for joining me on another tutorial. I hope y'all really enjoyed this. I appreciate having you guys here. Be blessed and be safe. Mm -hmm.